Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick DIY on how to install deer whistles or deer warning whistles on the front of your car. Uh, or this is how I do it. Anyways, big thank you to all 9,000 plus Sterling W channel subscribers. Whether it's DIYs, Costco finds, or how to, you know, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Anyways, if you just bought it, you know, I'll leave a few links below for deer whistles on, on the description below. But they already come with double back sticky tape on the back. So you just peel out and put it in into a position um big uh warning like the one i added like two years ago or three years ago you know basically broke off and also the phone broke off too so i lost those two whistles already for my other car anyways good preparation is to figure out where you want to put it and then you basically spray some alcohol to where you want to hear it peel off the tape and basically place it in and now of course now I, the new version i'm using is using screws in addition to it or just using screws and then I just place it there but the hardest part of course is finding a good place for it um, and like I said if you're using the the self-adhesive 3m tape that it has it'll last for a good year or two years it probably won't fall off the main thing is to make sure there's no crosswind that blows this thing off and cracks it or pulls it off of the adhesive tape or breaks the plastic um, you want to be you know make sure you put it in the front of the car so that it is able to absorb all the air current going into that uh, large opening. Uh, but at the same time, it's also away from any side side wind that might push it to the side, which might crack it or break it. So if you're doing it the, you know, the easy way, just get some alcohol and use um, the 3M and just adhere it onto uh, whether for myself, I put it right next to the license plate. At the same time, you know, you can also use the other method, which I'm doing now, is just using a drill bit and also get like a fine screw and also a, I need to make a pilot hole with a 1 16th drill bit. So it's a lot more secure this way. And I'm pretty sure this could probably last for much longer than just using the foam tape that it came with. So I found myself some screws because it doesn't come with screws in the package I got, as well as I got 1 16th drill bit. And if you don't know how to use the 116 drill bit, you could always basically wrap um, um, aluminum foil tape onto it. Aluminum tape, like for ducks, ducking and stuff. So that way you can actually use it in your power drill to drill through it. it took me a while to figure that one out. Uh, but you can always use alcohol to clean the place first because it will still adhere to that 3M tape. Again, um, you could use, if you're using an old one or using one, Go ahead and get some 3M exterior VBA tape, and those are really, really strong. They last for a long time. They're meant for exteriors too. And so drill two pile holes and drill the, through the pile holes with a power drill, and that's it. It's that simple. The main thing is finding good placement for it. So whether you put it next to your um, license plate like me or put it into where the air ducts are or the air dam is on the bottom, it's probably a good place to put it. As long as there's no side draft that might push it and break that, break the um, adhesive or break the um, the plastic, that's the best thing. These things actually slide in and out, so if you need to wash them or clean them, so that's the beauty of having a deer whistle. Anyways, it prevents, it makes it so that deer can actually hear you when you're coming down um, down the road in the forest and stuff. So it's a little safer. I feel a little safer. I you know, knock on wood. Uh, it's I've missed a few, which is good, and I'm glad that your deer was kind of work. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's that simple. You just find a good place, you know, use the backy stick, sticky tape, or if you want to do a really good job, screw it on with some screws in it, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, you know, a lot of the stuff is the and the products I used in this is on the description below. And like, subscribe, you know, hit the bell button if you want more from my channel in terms of updates and other fun stuff and other DIYs and, and, and stuff on my channel. There's a lot of different things I review or do around the house or uh, fix my cars and stuff like that. So there's a lot of car videos and a lot of um, other DIY videos as well as other product review videos like this mosquito zapper um, and other fun stuff. So keep in touch and you know, like subscribe.